<laughs> I don't know how to do the fucking Joker laugh. I don't care to do it. Uh, that's my fake attempt at the Joker laugh because I don't, I don't know how to do it, man. Eh, I really don't know. But I really like the Joker. The Joker is actually my favorite villain of all time. Yes, of all time. Literally my my favorite. To me, just the way... Well, I mean, everything about him, where, 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 you know, the makeup, uh, the green hair, the, the just the suit he wears... Just the, everything about him, and it has nothing to do with the new Joker movie that came out, even though it was amazing. But um, yeah, I, he's my he was always my favorite villain, just because I don't know why I just like him very much. He's really cute too. I would wish I was um, Criminal Quinn, so I could suck his dick every single day while he slaps me around. But anyways, this is not only about the Joker, but in reality, I just want to share that I worked on the Joker movie. Only for, for a few hours. I, I worked on the movie three days. And it wasn't called The Joker. It was called uh, like Checkmate or something like that. And I'm like, what the fuck is Checkmate? And I realized that I was The Joker when I was just hanging out. And then I see Joaquin Phoenix come up with his, his like dressed as The Joker. And I'm like, and I literally asked my coworker, I'm like, why am I looking at The Joker? And he's like, that's Joaquin Phoenix. I'm like, what? He's like, yeah, that's Joaquin Phoenix. This, I'm like, well, I thought this, sh what is this? What movie is this? And he's like, this is the Joker. And I'm like, I thought it was called Checkmate. He's like, no, that's just a fake name they give. But I was like, holy shit, I'm actually working on a movie that involves Joaquin Phoenix because it didn't even matter at that point what, what if it was the Joker. I'm just like, Joaquin Phoenix, one of the best actors of all time. I think he's amazing. Everything, almost everything he does. Is amazing there's not that many actors like him he's extremely rare i always get afraid when there's amazing actors like that and i'm like please don't ever die can you stay alive forever because there's a lot of really horrible actors out there <laughs> they're just fucking horrible when i see a person like joaquin i'm just like oh thank the lord that there's amazing actors like that that still exist daniel day lewis people like that we need them to stay because there's not too many but there's a few good actors nowadays, but let me let me explain to you how cool it was to work on the Joker. I worked three days, but in those three days, I worked like 14 hours every day. So it was really long time. I specifically started working on the day of one of the most famous scenes, which is where he's dancing down the stairs. You know exactly what the fuck I'm talking about. And that scene is in the Bronx, which is cool because it wasn't that far away from where I lived. But anyways... It was fucking awesome because I was we were on the bottom of the stairs and it was cool to see his choreographer. So basically what they did was this is for all you movie nerds, literally for the movie nerds. There's a lot of people that watch my shit. It's like, what the hell do I care? This is for the movie nerds out there like me. Uh, so basically his choreographer basically came out and he did the whole dance scene first. Like they do it just to see how the camera angles look and stuff like that. So then uh, Joaquin Phoenix, it was just so weird to just see him. He took, he did it like at eight takes of it, like eight times he did it, doing the whole dance down the stairs. And he tried to make the dance different every single time. And it was really cool just to see that in my face. And I'm like, this movie actually looks like it's going to be good. Because at first, when I saw the trailer, I was like, eh, it doesn't look like it's going to be too great. Like, to be honest, I was like, mm -hmm. But when I was working on it and I got to see it, I was like, this is actually going to be really cool. So I can't wait to actually go see it in the movie theaters. And even in one of the scenes, he hit his leg. His leg was actually messed up for some reason. I don't know why. And it was in the blistering cold, by the way. He was extremely cold doing this scene or whatever. But he hit his leg on, on, on one of the staircases. And he almost fucked up his leg. And he just kept doing it anyways. But the cool part, the weird part about that motherfucker was... He would just randomly leave. In my head, I'm like, are you doing coke or something? Are you on drugs, Joaquin? I don't know. But he would just randomly be like, I'll be back. And then he'll just and he'll just, just walk away. And then he'll be back to do the scene again. But you got to give prop to these actors. Especially actors like that that get into method acting so much. To be in that cold... And I'm telling you, cold, cold, cold weather. It was the least like 15 degrees or lower maybe even maybe 10 degrees a lot of these actors actually have to work in the cold and stuff like that but 
like I said, working on the Joker. So that was the first day. Basically, we did the staircase scene. And then we moved on to those scenes where they're indoors in the building. That's what I basically worked on for the other, like, two days. Them, like, shooting in that in that uh, building. You know, where he, like, kills people. All that stuff working in that building. That's where he was. And he did a scene where we had to put up, uh, you know, the rain, the fake rain. And him walking outside in the rain or whatever the hell. They, that I saw that as well. I just wanted to share how cool it was to work on that movie. Me, personally, <clears throat> I don't like my job <laughs> i'm just gonna be honest a lot of you out there are like oh my god criminal you get to work with it doesn't matter because in reality i'd rather be in front of the screen than be behind it in reality all these jobs are just like being a rat in general you could try to tell yourself as much as you want oh my god this job is amazing because i'm working i don't care about celebrities in general i respect joaquin phoenix a lot but I would never be like, oh my god, Joaquin, can I take a picture with you and stuff like that. The most I would ever tell him is I really think your work is amazing. That's And that's literally where the conversation ends. I'm not really a groupie. I'm not really like, oh my god, I want to suck your cock because you have a celebrity cock. You know, I'm not really like that. But I don't really work with a lot of people that I like. But when I saw Joaquin, I respect him a lot. It was cool to say that I, w I got to see and I was a part of that movie and shit. It was That's pretty cool. But in reality, I feel like everyone out there is special and everyone out there is just as important as any celebrity in the world. So that's why I say I don't really like my job at the end of the day is too many hours and I don't get to be creative myself. Me doing this is what I want to do. You know what I mean? I want to be able to touch people. I just touched your boob right now. Anyways, I want to be able to touch people. You know what I mean? And just do things and make people feel better about their lives. So... Yeah, that's it. That was cool working on the Joker. If you have any questions about it, I would I, I'll answer you. You know whether how how nice Joaquin Phoenix ass looked in his Joker suit. Whatever you want to ask, I just want to make sure you know that I actually, you know, worked on it. And I want to tell you from an outside perspective how it felt to work on that movie and how cool it was for the few hours that I got to work on it. It was like I said, it was pretty fucking cool, and I was happy that I was there. And uh, that's it. And I also wondered if... I, I always wonder, can you guys answer this for me in the comment section? Do you think the Joker's penis is green as well? I just feel like his penis is a weird... Dis it has to be discolored in a weird way. But since... I just feel like his dick is green. My dick is purple. But... If, and for real, my dick is purple. But I feel like his dick is green. So write in the comments if you think his dick is green... Or another color, maybe very, very pale or whatever. Anyways, thank you for watching, subscribing if you have any and, uh, questions. I worked on many, many shows. I've even worked on the Avengers before or whatever the fuck. If you have any questions about anything about the movie that I didn't answer, you can ask. I just felt like I wanted to share that with you Joker nerds out there. <laughs> Anyways, enjoy, subscribe, suck it. You can suck it too if you want. Suck it. Thank you.